Hello everyone, back again with another update. I'm currently exploring out here close to home, well, a few miles from home here. And this is called Shire's Cave. It's one of the most unspoiled caves I've ever been to. And it is in Jefferson National Forest, Craig County, Virginia. And it's not easy to find. There are no official trails that go to this cave. You can see Well, they do have the cave blocked off with um, where the entrance, down below the entrance, it is blocked off to prevent people, I guess, from going in. But it is an actual cave, and it goes under this rock formation and likely continues into an actual passageway down there. Uh, I imagine it goes pretty far if they have it locked up with a metal crate. Uh, very hard to see the metal crate lighting here, but it is right there at the bottom. Um, so what I'm gonna talk about is First of all, since I stopped running my own truck, I've been through two different jobs. Basically working for a company, you're basically a glorified slave. You have to work on their terms. I worked for one company, quit, and... Um, end of October, because another company promised me better money, it turned out what they promised me and what I actually got paid were hugely different. They purposely didn't give me, here they purposely were not giving me loads, they were making me sit for days at a time, doing nothing. I quit them once I caught on to what seemed to be happening. And I've been off now for two weeks. Just exploring. Around home and. Going on excursions every few days. As well as taking care of my girlfriend who had surgery recently. Helping out. Along with that, I'm not sure if I'm going back to work, if I'm going to re reactivate my truck. I haven't sold it. My apartment building has sold last month. Unfortunately, I did not get a whole lot of money out of it in the end. Uh, but at least it's off my hands. Sold it for 25k. The time they took out taxes, sewer bill. The realtor took 5,000 out of the transaction, which unfortunately I got ripped off. And unfortunately, there's not much of a choice of realtors. I could not like I can just go to another realtor up there. There's no competition, so I was left with. Not even half of what it got sold for, I wasn't too happy about, but I guess it's better than nothing. And I'm not sure if I'm permanently retired now or I am going to go back to work at some point. I do have some money put away, but... I know I'm going to owe another tax bill off of 
the earnings earlier this year before I shut the truck down when things were great. I earned a huge amount of money in just two months and I know I'm going to have a tax bill for that. So I may have to go back to work. Unfortunately, I don't want to. Especially having to go work for a company, I no desire to be a slave again. It does look like there is a bit of a faint trail here. It's hard to tell if it's actually a trail or... I didn't come in this way, I came in from up there on the other side. There's a pasture up there. I'm going to try going this way. This is all Jefferson National Forest land through here. I'm going to try going this way. The town of Paint Bank is in that direction, just behind that mountain there. And I live on the other side of that mountain from here. Uh, I can see that mountain out my backyard, but I'm on the other side of it now. So, getting on the climate, weather, solar activity, so far seems to be comparable to cycle 24 as far as we were heading. Cosmic ray count has gone down to average now, about average, a little below actually. Time will tell whether it will remain there or bounce back up again. So that means maybe a little bit of an alleviation for now. In the global cooling going on. So this max is over with. So there's where the cave is in that direction. You can't even see it anymore. It's in that ravine. So Christmas is coming up and we're going to have a near record cold outbreak for much of the North America. I know here it's supposed to get down to below zero potentially over the weekend, even down here. And there is supposed to be um, a little bit of snow. But there's other parts of the country, other parts of the world that are really faring much worse. Uh, North Dakota's been below zero for over a week now, for example, it's just been a brutal weather pattern for the Northern Plains yet again this year of the U.S. And many other parts of the hemisphere are also suffering brutally cold weather. Southern Hemisphere is not having much of a summer uh, this year, so that could be a warning sign for the Northern Hemisphere. 2023 may not be much of a summer for the Northern Hemisphere. If the patterns continue, if we don't get a bump up in solar activity. We do have a hurricane in the southern hemisphere or a cyclone in the Indian Ocean. I looked this morning and that does look like an actual 
natural storm from the way it looked on the satellite imagery. So it's out in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Probably not going to be a threat to anybody. Unless it continues westward to Madagascar, maybe another few days it might head that way. But winter is getting off to overall a very cold start. There has not been much snow, at least here, yet. And again, um, time will tell, but um, we shall see what happens. That's going to be it for this video. I thought I would share this cave as it is off the beaten path and there isn't, like I say, there's not even a trail to this cave. Even you have to basically navigate your way there through the woods and find it. Hope you find it. So you all enjoy the holidays. Anybody watching, and I will be back soon with another update. Take care. Bye.